today we're going to talk about shared albums in the photo application from your Mac. Now this is also very similar. You can do the same thing on your iPad and or on your iPhone. Very, very similar. First thing you're going to do is open up your Photos app. On the left hand side on your Mac, you're going to go down to Shared Albums and you're going to see the plus sign. Click on the plus sign. You're going to get a little pop-up window and it's going to ask you to fill in some information. So the first thing you're going to fill in is um, a name of the album. So I'm just going to call this Items for Sale. Okay. The next thing you'll see, it says Invite People. And you'll see the plus sign here. All you're going to do is click on the plus sign and you can search or page through. So I'm going to send this to Will. And right down here, you select, this is Will. This is the other fellow I do the podcast with. So I'm going to select his Gmail address. And I can put a comment down here and just say, this is the shared album and then hit create. Now, if you look here, items for sale, you'll see it. You click on it. There are no photos in there. Right here, it says add photos and videos. Click on it. It's going to go through your recent photos. So you just click on items that you want to include. You can scroll through all of your photos and click on as many as you like. And let's see, do I have any others? That will do this one, I guess. And these. Now, this becomes very handy if you, let's say you have a um, family reunion and or a wedding and um, you put it into a shared album and you have uh, family members who, let's say, live on the West Coast and didn't get an opportunity to come to the affair. You can share this album and they will be able to view, download, comment, and add their own photos to the shared album. So it's a nice way to um, share photos where you don't have to email them to everyone. So once you select all your photos, you're just going to click on this Add button in the upper right-hand corner. The photos will be added to the album. Now, what's going to happen when, when we selected Will in that drop-down list, he will get an email um, that lets him know that I shared an album with him, and then he would click on it, and it would give him access to these photos. So from this point, I'm going to hand it over to Will, and he could show you what it's like on the receiving end of the email. Hello, everyone. This is Will, and I am now taking over the final part of our journey through shared albums. So Frank has emailed me a shared album, which now I have here on my screen. It says you're invited to view these, these shared photos, post your own photos, videos, and comments. Other subscribers will see your email address when you join, just so you understand the privacy matter of this. So when you hit subscribe, what's going to happen is the Photos app is going to open. So now I'm going to hit subscribe. The Photos app is going to open. And this is the one thing that you may not realize. So on the bottom is the number one icon, which means you have some kind of a notification. What's so weird about this, and this is maybe an Apple thing that they need to change, but nothing popped up on the screen. It actually opened up one of my currently shared out. This is actually all the photos from Sandy that um, happened a few years ago. So just so you can see a little bit of what I had to experience uh, when Sandy hit our shores, uh, pretty scary stuff. If I scroll up to the very top, there is a section here called shared albums. And one of them is called activity. If I click on that, here is the items for sale that Frank has shared. And I'm gonna hit the word accept or decline. I'll hit accept. The most recent shared album appears at the top of the list. And if I click here, here are the photos that he sent. And now everything you just saw is now here for me to see. 
So what's great about this is I could do what I want with them. I can hit the share icon. I can mail them. I can message them. I can do everything just like if it was in my own library. Uh, shared albums is great, and it doesn't take up any storage in your iCloud, which is terrific. Also, I can add my own stuff. So you see there's an add photos and videos here, and now I can start going through and adding my own items here. So if I take one item and then I hit add, well, now that adds them, and then on Frank's side, he would see this item there. So that's the idea of shared albums. So utilize them. You could see I made a ton of them here. I think they're so valuable, especially if you want other stuff from other people. Apple has kind of rectified that with their shared library, but I'm not going to share a library with my sister and my brother-in-law and my mom. So it's a great way to share multiple things with all your family. So I hope this was very helpful with shared albums. Thank you, Frank, for the beginning part of this video. Glad that we collaborated and ended it. And I thank everyone. And we love every single one of you.